Hi, my name is Miriam and I'm the designer of 20. My name is Miriam. I'm a designer and I uh, designed a project called 20. It's about the amount of water in most of our household products, so both cosmetics and more cleaning detergents. There's about 80% of water in these products, which means that we also transport and package this water. Uh, and I was wondering, what if we don't? What if we only sell the bare necessities, so the 20% which is not water, and we add the water at home because we all have access to clean water in, in the Western world. My project started, uh, well, when I was walking through the supermarket and uh, at that time Car van Sevitam had the first bottle uh, of lemonade, which they uh, decreased in size, I think, also about 80, 90 percent. And they came up with these small bottles. And I was wondering, how is it possible that you have the same amount of lemonade in a big bottle as in a small bottle? Uh, and I found out that there was just no uh, less water and they uh, replaced the sugars for an industrial sugar. Um, and then I was wondering, okay, if this is possible, then what else is possible? And of course you have the cup of soup and you have, you have in, the, in the food department, you have a lot. But in the cosmetics and the household cleaning detergents, you had nothing. So I found out that almost all of them contained about 80, 90% of water, and I wanted to do something about it. So 20 is um, a capsule that is just the same shampoo as you're used to, but without water. So by adding the water, you create exactly the same feeling, the same viscosity, you have the same foaminess as a normal shampoo, but just you didn't transport water or you didn't package water, which saves a lot of energy and waste. Packaging was definitely a part of the process. At first, I wanted to, I thought, okay, maybe it's going to be just a liquid, um, which, well, would be 20% of your packaging. But then I thought, okay, then you still buy plastic because it's liquid. You, you need to buy plastic because you cannot sell it in another way. And then I thought, okay, but you have capsules that contain liquids. Look at the dish detergent capsules. Um, so I thought if, if I make a pouch around it, then that would be possible. Then you could use cardboard instead of, um, or even zero packaging uh, instead of plastic bottles. And at home you could have a bottle which you reuse all the time. Um, can be uh, better designed, doesn't need that much branding because you only buy it once. Uh, um, so in that sense, uh, packaging is definitely a part of the product because it saves also packaging. And I try to optimize the amount of packaging that it saves. You have a lot of women, mostly, who like to buy um, soap dispensers for in their bathroom because they don't like, well, the bottles that there are. Uh, imagine that you could also do this for your shampoo bottles. That would make your bathroom visually a lot cleaner. I understood from a lot of women that they really liked the fact that the packaging is cleaner and would look better in their uh, household.